This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip to tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on-screen shoutouts, access to members-only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip to Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to take a look at an article that came to my attention um, about the post-AFC Championship game fines. Something that kind of, I felt to be kind of petty. But NFL doing what it does, kind of kicking a fella while they down, you know, so to speak. <laughs> so let's go into it. The NFL punishes Baltimore Ravens duo after a devastating AFC Championship loss to the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, obviously, they got a picture of Zay up here uh, running. And we all know what happened in the AFC Championship game. Uh, down by a score of 17 to 7. The Ravens hit a big pass to Zay, like a 50-some-odd yard pass to, to Zay. And in the process of him getting up, LeJarrius Sneed has has his leg. And I don't think it was anything malicious by Sneed because, you know, Sneed had to tackle him. But then, you know, Zay jumped up and was kind of excited and I guess really wanted to celebrate the big catch. But Sneed was holding his leg. So he kind of pushed Sneed off and kind of spent the ball at him, just looked at him and flexed on him. Now, did that warrant a flag? I don't necessarily think so. Maybe if he had, maybe if he said something to him, but I see the ball get spinned a lot of times. I see guys look at guys all the time. Some guys even run in the other guy's face. They don't, nothing get called, you know, and I'm, I'm, this is not a blame the referee thing. We didn't play well for crap. So that don't, don't put that in my mouth. I'm not blaming referees. We didn't play well enough to win. The chiefs did. And, you know, had solve and salute to them, but, this in particular penalty I thought was petty. Um, let's kind of go down to see it. They also, I just read it to you. Uh, to add insult to injury, two Baltimore stars have been handed fines for their behavior in the 17 to 10 AFC Championship loss to the Chiefs. The Ravens, who, who were favorites going to the game, who struggled against the Resolute Chiefs defense and failed to score a single point in the second half at MT Bank Stadium. He's talking about the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs said their struggles are offense too, but errors on both sides of the ball at crucial moments cost the Ravens. Cost I'm sorry, crucial moments in the game cost the Ravens. And two of those errors were nonsense, <clears throat> I'm sorry, were senseless penalties that have now resulted in both players being fined for their actions and the NFL announced late on Saturday. The heaviest of the two fines for wide receiver Zay Flowers, who showed the ability in the first half with a brilliant touchdown before turning into the villain late. Now, he's not a villain to me. He, he's young. He, he made a mistake. Sneed made a hell of a play. He, he's not a villain to me. And I, and I do like the fact that a lot of people have came to, you know, support him because he just made a rookie mistake just at a crucial time. And he is not the villain to me. One reason he he's the reason we was even in this game, honestly. So let's keep it a book. His plays and his play is the reason we was even in the game. But to keep going on the article, uh, late in the third quarter with the Ravens struggling to find anything on offense, hopes were uh, reignited when Flowers caught a 54-yard catch down to the Chiefs' 10-yard line. But after Chiefs corner LeJerry Sneed grabbed that flower's leg at the end of the play, the rookie threw the ball at Sneed's side while flexing over him to draw a 15-yard penalty for Taunton. And if fumbling the ball on the goal line and reaching out, or when reaching out to score just four plays later was not bad enough for Flowers, he has been handed out a $10,927,000 fine for his behavior. The other fine, which is $6,700, has been handed out to defensive tackle Travis Jones for a late hit in the second quarter on Chiefs. Uh, quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Baltimore said ahead of the key matchup, they were not willing to let Mahomes have an easy day, but hits like Jones are put on the former MVP helped move the chains all evening in Kansas City's favor, or, or even for Kansas City. Now, bringing it back to me, I don't necessarily remember the late hit on um, Mahomes, but I do remember when Travis hit him in the face. Now, that definitely was a penalty. Now, I think, if anything, that might have been the fine. But I personally don't remember the, the late hit on um, Patrick Mahomes. Maybe I need to go back and watch it. But I do remember him clobbing Mahomes and damn near uppercutting him. So, um, I think Zay's fine. 
probably should have been a, I think it should have been a no call, which definitely means it should have been a no fine. But but 10 stacks, a 10K or whatever, whatever your slang is in your neck of the woods, that's a lot. That's a lot. The six, the what six seven six thousand seven hundred for Travis Jones. If if you're gonna find him, they probably should be about equal. Cause a late hit on a quarterback could possibly injure him for the rest of the playoff run. But taunting don't hurt nobody. So why is the taunting penalty higher than the late hit? Make it make sense. It don't. It's the NFL, but we all love it, <laughs> myself included. Even when my team don't do what I want them to do. So I really just saw this article and wanted to give my two cents on it, man. I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been in the world, anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I would like, comment, subscribe, um, keep sharing. I appreciate all the sharing that we got. You guys are doing for the channel. We're growing, we're growing, we're growing. The road to 10K, it, we we moving, we moving, we moving. Had our best subscriber edition month in January. And hopefully we can continue to uh, ride this momentum through February, March, April, and May. And by the time we get to the draft, we should be pushing 10K, if not before then. It's not before, if not before then. But I appreciate you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Peace and love.